Uh, hey guys, uh, this is my follow-up to the other video about uh, the Hebrew word El being power, and uh, I promised I would follow it up, you know, and I did. And this is really interesting because when I looked online, okay, and I asked for the Hebrew for power, I got the word koach, okay, koach, and with translation, um, uh, software, thank you, that was what I was trying to say. With translation software, I always like to throw it back to see if I got the right word. So I said, okay, if the translation software is saying that power is koach, well, let's reverse it, say, okay, how do you translate koach? And the, the return translation of koach means strength. Aha! Now that's different, okay? Power and strength are not exactly the same thing, okay? And depending upon the kind of power we're talking about, because I think power is a more abstract noun, um, depending upon how it's used. Strength is more, it's a noun, but it's more of a um, ad, this would be an adjective, because with the word, see, with the word power, power can, can power be an adjective? No, I don't think so. Because the word strength, you have the word strong. Strong is an adjective. But strong comes from the word strength. And strength could be muscle, it could be you know, it could be intellectual strength, but it is not necessarily power, okay? The kind of power that exists in uh, leadership or societal uh, situations, okay? I think strength is more individualized and power is more is is abstract but it's more um um group kind of thing. Yeah, power is more group oriented and the strength is more individual situation. The strength is, you know, he's strong. He's got strength. He could tear that up. He could tear that telephone book in half because he's got strength. You know. So, that's what I think of when I hear the word strength. When I hear the word strength, I don't really hear the word power. It is true that some people think that with strength they have power, okay? And that's not a good thing because when you assume power because of strength, then that's not real power. That's being a bully. Because power as God, as L, 
okay. There's no corruption in it, and I don't really think that if you go through translation software, go through a dictionary, conventional means, I really don't think you're going to find God or you're going to find power with the Hebrew word El. I really don't think so. I, which I never thought that until today. But, um, I tell you, it makes me think of Stop it with the shaking. This is not uh, earthquake, earthquake. Oh my God, 7.8 on the Richter scale. Oh no. Yes, stupid hand. Okay, stop shaking your stupid hand. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, I, I, I just wanted to update this a little. And I would say that for L to mean power, I think is unique. And you and you really can't say very unique or mostly unique because unique means one of a kind. Okay, so I think the 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 conception of L meaning power in um, in more abstract connection to God I think is unique and I don't think you can find it anywhere else so anyway I just wanted to update you guys so thanks for watching thanks for listening and I'll see you later. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.